Hello class, this is just another example of using an exponential model. So, here we go. A population of an endangered species is decreasing exponentially according to the model P equals 100 times 1.5 to the power of negative T. Notice how when it's a negative value, the graph should look somewhat like this because it is decreasing. So let's complete this table of values and graph it ourselves. You can go ahead and pause the video and give it a go. This is the um, formula or the equation of the model that we'll be using. So let's get to it. Substituting these values in, I'm actually going to draw them all in like this. So 100 times 1.5 to the power of 0. That's for this answer here. I'm just going to write in all of them like this. Power of 2, power of 3, 4, and the last one. And here are all our values. There we go. Oh, oops made the mistake, these should have been negative values. So let's just put negatives for them here. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so putting our numbers in, 100, this one rounding, so to the power of negative one, rounding off to the nearest whole, 67 to the power of 44, 30, 19.7, uh, we can round up to 20, and then down to 13. And there we have it. Graphing these out. There we have it, 67. That is 70, 65. 62, sorry, 67.5, so very close to here. 167. 244. So that's 40, that's 50. It's 45, so very close to that value. Three thirty. That's nice and easy. Thirty is here. Three four twenty four twenty is there. Five thirteen. It's fifteen. So that's. 12.5, that value there. So this should be our graph, like so. So trying to graph these as a smooth curve as best we can. And there we have our graph. As with all of these, I actually have already prepared a proper one using a graphing calculator. So I'll be referring to this one um, for our future questions. In what year did the population first fall below 50? So the population, meaning P, so P is along here, when it first fell below 50, so we go to p equals 50, we need to figure out what year that value is there. So that is about 1, 2, 3, 4. 
that's 1.5 is here and that point there is 1.75 so we can kind of round up to the nearest one so it's approximately very close to 1.75 well specifically we can say t is equal to 1.75 what year did the population first fall below 25? Same case for this. P equals 25. Go across here. Finding it where it intersects the line. Approximately there. Again, 3.25. That point there is 3.5. So it's slightly below that. So we can make a the approximation again. We can say this is approximately, we'll say 3.t uh, equals 3.4. Last one, when it falls below 5. Same manner here, since this y axis is p for population, let's see where p equals 5 using a ruler or drawing a line see where it first crosses our curve or our graph that's 7.25.5 is there that looks to be a, a, about 0.3 so we can say it's close to t equals approximately t equals 7.3 and for the last question here by how much did the population fall during the first year so let's get rid of all of these so what it's asking from us is from here down to here how much did we decrease by in that time okay so the decrease so you went from 100 to about 67 so it went from 100 to 67 so 100 take away 67 that's about 33 so it's a loss so it's a drop by 33 so it's a drop of 33 or you can say a loss of 33 whichever way you'd like to word it I'm just showing my calculations 1 minus because remember it was 67 up here and it's also approximately what it looks like here in the graph so 100 minus 67 equals 33 population loss. So I hope I gave you another insight into how we might use exponential models. In this one, it's an exponential uh, decline or exponential decay model. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.